What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today it's time to clutch up. So in the last video you saw me explaining what I still need to clean and one of the parts was the clutch assembly. Now I took it all apart and cleaned it. I used soap and water and degreaser. I'm not gonna bore you with that process. It's just cleaning and making everything pretty again. So now we can examine the parts and as we can see on the dishes, let me call them dishes, there is a lot of rust and yeah. This one is better, don't know why. Maybe it is a different kind, maybe not from the same bike. These pieces look pretty good, not worn at all. The shaft that's inside of the one dish is a little bit rusty. This means that it is binding up. So we need to clean that. This plastic piece, as I told you in the last video, is a little bit worn up, but maybe in the future when we upgrade it, I get a better clutch or I replace the parts that are worn out on this one. Also, these small bushings that are inside these pieces where the shafts run through are a little bit worn. As you can see, it's almost worn completely through it. I haven't seen those parts online, so I can't replace them. If I would replace parts, I would replace these bushings and this plastic piece. All the rest is yeah, just surface rust and we can fix that. So that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fix up the dishes and clean up the other parts. So what I'm gonna use to clean up the dishes, I'm gonna use 500 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna use my Dremel with the metal brush to clean up these parts. And I'm gonna attach some Scotsbrite to a Dremel tool to clean up these aluminum parts. Don't know about this one. I'm probably gonna sand it and then just polish it until I get a nice shine of it. And probably turn it around that the shaft that is moving on there goes on to the clean part. Or if I can get it good enough, maybe use it like it was. Let's just put the, these parts away and start on the dishes, I guess. So it's been many hours and I finally got the dishes the way I want them to. And here they are, all nice and polished. The rust is gone. This one was the baddest one, but I got all the rust pretty much off. A little bit of spots left, but I'm okay with that. On this one, this was much better. As you can see, nice and shiny. Now the way you get the dishes as clean as this, there's a few steps you need to follow. I never done this before, so it was a trial and error. Did some things wrong, did some things right. But here is the method you need to use to get your dishes to look like this or your variator or whatever you want to call it. First of all, you need a Dremel tool with a sanding pad. That way you can get all the rust pretty much cleanly off. After that, you get a scuffed surface. Then what you need to do, you're gonna have to take your sandpaper, put it in water and just wet sand the whole surface of the pulley. And after that, you need to get some polishing compound. Uh, I used this one, just rub it all over the disc, wait a few seconds and then just hit it with the polishing wheel. I used a Dremel because I don't have a big polishing machine, but it still works. It's more work, but 
then you get a result like this and I am pretty happy about it. Now maybe the belt will slip uh, on the first run but I'm just gonna degrease it when I start the engine at first so then the belt should not slip. Now next up I'm gonna have to clean up this part because it still sticks in here because of the rust yeah, and that needs to be clean to make the variator work as good as it can get. So again, I'm gonna get some sandpaper. I'm not gonna do a wet sand on this. I'm just gonna clean the surface up. I'm not wanna get this to a polishing shine. I just wanna get the rust off when the variator is working then it will polish itself. As you can see, just get it as smooth as you can get, I'm not trying to take off too much material. Okay, I sanded the whole part. Let's see how the fitment is right now. And that turns very nicely. I mean, if the uh, if the variator moves a lot, it will polish itself. And with a little bit of oil, that will run fairly smoothly. So now you know how to get your variator to a nice polished shine and make it work better again. In the next video, you will see the whole variator assembly back together, not really back together because it goes on the crankshaft, but you will see the other components polished and uh, shined up and nice and pretty and assembled together again so that is it for this video guys hope you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and if you like the videos subscribe to the channel it's always fun to get more subscribers and yeah see you in the next one